Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. We are starting the day by building a wall with all of our various kinds of blocks. We also have Trader Joe's Thai lime and chili almonds, which James actually weirdly loves because he's a weird child. And Eve and I are sharing a nice cup of Joe with our sweet pea mug. Thanks, Kenny Whiting. Hey! <laughs> All right, we are going to Walgreens, taking a morning walk through the neighborhood. It's gorgeous. It's 87 out today. It's toasty. It's I know. I said outside. I was like, it feels like summer. It's gonna be 90 at the game today. Oh my gosh! So hopefully we get some shade. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's being a one o'clock game, but we'll see. And yes, James is in fact just eating a plain piece of bread this morning on this walk. But look at it. You can't. Oh, gotta go. Gotta go. Art, sun, plants, people. Sarah forgot our sunglasses. <laughs> it's about to be sunny again. It's about to be sunny, but we forgot that there's the French market at the elementary school in our neighborhood going on today. It's only on Saturdays. So we're gonna go to Walgreens because we're getting James some eczema cream. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to the market real quick. It's really small, so it's gonna take a few minutes. Um, but we're gonna be tested. Be tempted with our no spend August. <laughs> we love to spend money. I got James's cream. We're already back at the market because it's just down the street. Uh, look how small this thing is. It's so cute, and we've never been. We wanted to go. Me and James came. Oh, that's right. You guys did, and you had the really good pastries. We like microtransactions. That's the biggest problem with us with this no spend August. It's not big audacious things. It's like a three dollars here, a six dollars here, and eight dollars there. And it adds up quick, you know? All right, so we're at Broadway Melrose. This is the Nettlehurst School. And this is the playground. And every Saturday morning, this is it. They call it a French, French farmer's market. I made a little snack before we go to the game. Cutting it close. Game, uh, I think it's a 120 game. We got a little fried hummus on tortilla. Little jobbies. All right, market days. Here it is. We're not actually doing it right now. It's like partially open, partially not. Sarah's checking out the menu now. Look good? Yeah. Yeah, it, a lot of the performances start between one and two. Great, so it's about to really, really start. Yeah. Should we walk to Addison? Sure. Great. So we're gonna walk through. We're going to the game. We're gonna go to this after. Yeah. Depending on how the kids are, we might go home after the game to yeah. nap. It, then... it, it's like nap time right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just... Close. Maybe the kids will nap during the Cubs game and then we can come straight to market days after. If not, we'll go home and nap after the game and then come to because this will be all night. Waters, maybe some peanuts. Just checking out the view of the fire station. This is the cool opening area above our seats, not too far, so it's nice to get a break. Let them run around a little bit in between innings. Just check this out. Christopher Morris. The pretty good Saturday in August, if you ask me. We're in Chicago in the Premier League Confines. What do you think, Jamesy? It is peak nap time for this kid. So. We kind of got restless and didn't want to sit anymore, so we're walking. We might go to a Gallagher Way. I actually don't know how much this game will stay for because of that, but it's a good Saturday. Anybody ready? Oh, he's a 
Bobby's fan. Rookie of the year, right there. We're gonna change your poopy diaper. We're gonna go to Gallagher Way and see how long we last. But we made it four innings. More than I expected at, at nap time. Yeah, It was time. the biggest parental gamble we could take. 90 degree nap time. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's pretty toast. All right, we left the Wrigley Field. We're in the Gallagher Way and the water's on today. So he's ready to go. Fourth inning, bottom of the fourth. So we made it a good way. Nice. Oh yeah. All right, we left, got the stroller again. Got Jamesy in a clean, dry outfit. Hoping these kids fall asleep on our walk home. Oh, there's birdies. But you know, there's distractions everywhere in the world of the James. He's at that age where everything is just magic. Evie's getting a haircut. So my hair's too long for this heat. Or is she not? My, my, that's how much I missed you. We are watching, whoa, <laughs> you're gonna sit up? We are watching Mamma Mia because we heard a performance going on at Market Days when we were walking home. So we said, we have to watch Mamma Mia. Um, so we're just chilling. We're doing a stir fry vegetable. What are these called? Dumpling soup. We're gonna stir fry these vegetables from Trader Joe's. We're gonna then boil them in this miso ginger broth. And then we're gonna toss in some of these dumplings. Boom, delicious dinner. Jamesy is awake now. Teddy's asleep. We're watching Toy Story 3 from the floor. Buzz. Oh, he's so shy. Dinner was delish. I'm stuffed. Eve got a dumpling. Eve got a hold of the dumpling, yeah. James is a fan. Now he's trying to figure out how this bowl works. We are up to market days now. No stroller. James is jazzed by the big semi truck. Woo! Uh, we've made it to market days. Periods where it's busy, periods where it's not. But it's a good time. James has got a flag or a fan. Lots of food, lots of drink. Lots of good vendors out. There's like seven stages. Rivers are running free. You know how I feel. All right, there's a Howard Brown Health Center right here. Since 1974, has been providing gender affirming health care. They're actually building a giant facility down there. Check them out. Really good organization. Jamesy's got some sunglasses. Jamesy's got some sunglasses. Hey, hey. hey Helicopter. Hey. Oh, my flash is on. We're starting our journey back just because we got to the end of where Belmont is and it would be easier to like, even if we're gonna weave our way back in to go on the side street, James wants to go back. Whoa, he loves sunglasses. And he, and he wants to go back. See an EDM kid? James, I'm just curious, why do you want to go in every direction that is not towards home? <laughs> You're just like Evie. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah puts him down, he goes in the opposite direction. Wow. Ooh, a schedule for Festival of the Arts. Ooh. What are we watching? On Netflix. There's no Chicago episode. Yeah, oh yeah. Maybe by the same people who made Chef's Day. Of course you'll love it then. I'm gonna get a haircut one day. One day. You and Jamesy gotta go. So we did 
this one thing on our Facebook discussion group page today where when we posted a photo of what we were doing, we asked anyone in the group to also post what they were doing and that we give a shout out to one of you in the vlog. So we are chosen. Lauren Taylor Wagner. Thank you so much for posting your phone picture. You're gonna put the photo in here? At the fair. Um, no, I'll keep it on the discussion group because that's where they posted it. Um, but if you didn't know we had a discussion group, I mean, it's always linked in the description below. We post our stuff there, post fun things there. I occasionally go on social medias. <laughs> <laughs> and in that group is probably the only thing on Facebook I actually post on. Right. Except for Peter's locked out of Facebook right now. He can't remember. No, <laughs> they turned on like that mandatory two-factor authentication, and I can't get that to work on my phone. So I currently have over like 150 notifications. <laughs> Every time yeah. I try, whether it's like an email, text message, authentication, it's not working. Yes. But I, I mean, this is kind of fun. We could mm -hmm. start doing this a little bit more often. So thanks again, Lauren. And it's good to be home. Good morning. Say we're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. Hope you enjoyed today's cute video. Make sure you come back every day. What are you doing with the best in that? And your little brother's in the bed. Being extra cute this morning. And we are pulling out Nightmare Before Christmas. It's not the it's not the first time. Routine cleaning has continued today. We got some Arm and Hammer plus OxyClean Pet Fresh Carpet Order Eliminator. Learned this trick from Sarah's mom. So this sits on there for 30 minutes, and then we vacuum it up and it makes it smell fresh. Everyone's butt sitting on the couch. Look who I've got with me. We are at Trader Joe's. I mean, look at Han. I'm trying to show you the skyline. It's a pretty kick butt view from your grocery store. We got some family coming over for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna make red sauce. And that's really all I'm getting. Um, groceries for so it should be a quick visit but a good one but we're hungry so maybe we'll get a snack for lunch and just like that we are all done shopping you got a sticker this was also my new bags first time out i think that all of the footage about peter trying to find this bag for me while we were in disney was on the actual camera so I don't even think we showed that I got this. I actually didn't even know about it while we were at Disney because Peter had surprised me with it. It just showed up on our doorstep one day. I had looked at it while we were at Disney uh, and I'm just, of course, thought it was so cute. I really like small bags. I like to keep things minimal. Otherwise I get like way too unorganized. So I keep things really simple in my purses. Um, so here is the new my new bag is the first time I used it and yeah, Peter was very Peter and <laughs> ordered it and had it shipped to us. So super cute. It's from their like new vintage coach line. Oh, Jamesy eating a maple leaf cookie. We have him up here so Evie doesn't get it. Were you able to find a parking spot? It was, it was looking dire. There was a dairy <laughs> truck cutting me off. It just wasn't really straight. I go down a couple of closed off streets because there's a lot of road closures. It was weird to like drive down the wrong way this street. And I was about to give up. I actually found a spot. Found a spot that's usually a paved by hour, but it's, there's a few in Chicago that are secrets and they don't cost me on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Park realized that this was a big minivan. I was out of the parking zone. Oh no. I went around the block and I actually found one right in front of our apartment. Oh great. So we are parking on the street so that our family can use our spot. So that's why Peter had to venture out. You got stickers? Yeah, Trader Joe's is always so nice and gives you stickers. Here's our pizza. Classic wood-fired Naples-style uncured pepperoni pizza. It's gloomy out, maybe raining, but Peter's taking Jamesy out on a walk. 
and I'm getting the sauce started a little bit. Not too bad, not too much later. Um, I am having a base of pork tenderloin and onions. Onions are always a base. Um, but I haven't cooked sauce with meat in a long time and I never have done it with pork tenderloin. Um, so hopefully it goes well. So I already baked the pork tenderloin. It was like peppercorn and garlic has got really great flavor. It's really nice and tender. And so I'm gonna shred it up and that'll be the base of the red sauce. I got all of my canned tomato variants ready and my trusty can opener. So there will be six adults here as well as, oh gosh, splatter in places. Hold on, Ooh, I even got sauce on my phone. Um, there will be six adults here. It'll be Christina and Grant, and then my godmother Jackie and her husband Angus. Um, obviously Peter and I, and then Christina's kids, and Jamesy, of course. So I'm making a lot of sauce. I'm making a lot of pasta. Um, I'd rather just there be too much than not enough. Um, so this is gonna cook for like 20 minutes until um, the meat from the the juice from the meat starts coming through. Also, I don't think I even said, I did two cans of diced tomatoes and then a big can of crushed tomatoes. They were fire roasted, so this is gonna taste a bit different than like our typical sauce, but I like to spunk it up. Also just added in some fresh basil, salt, and pepper. I don't wanna add too much salt when um, making a sauce with pork because it's a saltier meat, but I tasted it and so I, th I threw a little bit in. I'm starting my sausage out over here just to get them nice and brown before they go in the sauce. You can throw them straight in, but I'm just nervous that, oh no, it's heavy, isn't happy. I'm just nervous that I'm not gonna have enough time to cook them all the way through. So I'm gonna cook them for a little bit by themselves. And then that is like the nice fat coming through and that is my sign to put in the tomato paste. So as I was finishing the sauce, Teddy woke up and I like put him down down for a nap and he was just like in his little seat. Um, so I didn't get to say, it was like a 14 ounce can-ish of tomato paste. And then I filled it up twice with water, put that in. And then I did a little bit more salt, pepper, garlic, and then I added in parsley. And then I brought it to a boil. And then once it boiled, set it down to simmer. And hopefully it'll cook for like three hours-ish. Um, so now we're just finishing up tidying before our guests get here. We're gonna have to rearrange our dining room because like it doesn't, it usually just fits two people and a baby and it's gonna have to fit a lot more people. So we're gonna do some rearranging. And then maybe sit for a second. Luke, who is awake from his almost, almost two hour nap, it's a pretty good one. He's doing his puzzle. We have Festival of Fantasy playing. And the cousins are on their way. I'm, a, I'm officially calling this the calm before the storm. Teddy's still asleep, but we need to go put stuff in our bedroom where he is snoozing. And the Sicards are north of the river. Hootie hoo. No takers? Slow blink. No takers? Happy you. No smile for myself. Alrighty, here is the dinner set up. Look at all these noodles. Noodles sauce. We're gonna dish it up in the kitchen. Look at this crazy dining room. We got bread, cheese, thank you. <laughs> and I'm gonna link the TikTok salad recipe in which I got that from. And then I figured we could do like little dipping stations of olive oil. If you're feeling fancy. Okay, we ventured to Wrigley for some Jenny's ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream. Oh yeah, baby. You're supposed to be sleeping. That's so yummy. Oh. <laughs> what do you got? What are you eating? Ice cream. You want some of this one? Do you want some more? I sure do. You want to feed the camera? <laughs> Oh, look at that. 
Look at that poppy soup. When you don't have central air in the summer, he's soaked. He's I taught him how to use that spray bottle. Does that feel good? Our friends are gone. Our friends are gone. I got into an outfit change because I feel like you and I were like moving, 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 moving. Yeah. So I feel like I've been sweating since about 11 a.m. when we started. Yeah. So I need to get fresh clothes on. Yeah. So yeah, now, I could use some. The rest of the apartment is clean though. Yeah, it feels it nice. Was, <laughs> Christina was like, Jenny on the spot, let's clean these dishes. So there's only one dirty dish. Yeah. Well, That's awesome. Some hot color to soak it, so. Nice. Just gotta put that away and put this kid to sleep. Okay, we're getting ready for bed. We have the hug machine and 10 little fingers, 10 little toes. So we're reading tonight. We're gonna read one. We're gonna brush his teeth and then read the next. And I always start off tonight with playing some Dear Theodosia. That's the hug machine. I'm dedicating every day to you. <sighs> James put up a fight tonight going down. Um, but the, uh, the house was pretty much locked down by the time I got out of the room with James. He finally just went down. It's 11.05. Um, I think we had a really fun, good week weekend. Um, productive Friday night, really fun Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to call it, and I promise you tomorrow I'll make hair coat appointments for both me and James Aroni. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.